Once again, I'm Free Code Camp doing JavaScript algos and data structures. We completed basic JavaScript. Uh, you can find all 113 lessons on my channel. And now we are in ES6, and we're going to use arrow functions to write concise anonymous functions. Awesome. Let's get started. So, uh, in JavaScript, we often don't need to name our functions, especially when passing a function and argument to another function as an argument to another function. Instead, we create inline functions. We don't need to name these functions because we do not reuse them anywhere else. Okay, so to achieve this, we use the following syntax. As you can see, we create a variable, a constant, called my function, and we set it equal to, we assign it to be a function, and then we have the function. Cool. Uh, ES6 provides a syntactic sugar to not only write these anonymous functions, but use arrow syntax. So we can now just say my function equals parentheses arrow, and then the function. So you can see this part is the only part that gets changed. Uh, we just basically take out the function keyword and use this little equal sign greater than sign to actually create an anonymous function. This is what's known as an arrow function, uh, as you can see here. And this is something that you'll definitely get into the habit of using, I would say always, uh, as you continue to grow as a JavaScript developer. This is the standard now way, to, this is the standard way to write functions. Same thing, any parameters or arguments would get passed into these parentheses. And um, we can still call it the same way by calling this constant with the function um, the function parentheses next to it, right? So that's no problem. So we're going to rewrite the function assigned to the variable magic, which returns a new date using the arrow function syntax. Also, make sure nothing is defined using the keyword var. Okay, so we have var magic equals a function, and it returns a new date. Cool. So we just want to rewrite this as an arrow function. So we can just, I'm just going to do it underneath and erase this to kind of show you the difference here. So again, we don't want to ever use the var keyword. This is historic and we respect it, but we don't use it because of the scope. We always const or let to declare any type of variable. Okay, so I'm just going to say const here because this is the go to. Uh, because it is strict with its types, uh, it's a constant, right? So that's one of your go-to is a const to create any variable. Unless you need it to change, then go with let. But here we're going to say const, and then we're going to call it magic. So the same function name, and then we're going to create an arrow function. So instead of the function, we're going to say that equals the parentheses and then the arrow, and then open the function up. And then we just want to return the same thing a new date, capital D, because this is a new keyword, and then date being a type of object from JavaScript. Um, and it is a function because it, it returns us a date, okay? So a new date being now. So now if we remove this, run the test, you can see that does the exact same things as, I can't undo it now, but it does the exact same thing as the previous function did. We were just using this new syntax here. And again, never using the var keyword, always a const or a let if it has to change. So that's all we got to do for this one, guys. Hope that made sense. Just some syntactic sugar, as they talked about. But once again, this is the syntax that you will, you should uh, write all your functions in JavaScript going forward in. This is the best practice uh, of modern JavaScript that we always create arrow functions um, and assign them to a variable. Okay, hope that helped. Hope that made sense. See you guys in the next one.